Hello, my precious rosebuds. It is your girl, Rose Sun, and we are back with more Kingdom New Lands. I am sorry it's been taking me so long to record things. I've been sleeping it. Not because I want to, but because a dog keeps barking at 7 o'clock in the morning and I just go, fuck you, I'm going back to sleep. And I sleep until 10 or 10.30, and you now we're up early enough to actually do a good recording. No, am I actually sorry? Yes, yes, I am. Do I intentionally like being the asshole who goes? Eh. Oh, Mr. Money Man is just giving me back my shit. <laughs> we have a farm going because of one, we needed one, and two, we needed one. I shouldn't have touched that because of reasons. One being we need to clear out a fucking side before we do anything. Because if we don't, I think we can be attacked while on the boat. I am not sure. But if we can, fucking hell, I'm screwed. So yeah, we may need to get it up to nights and send some nights out on one side to uh, destroy things. Stay here and watch that building get built. Yes, I am. Well, which one is my back itched? Yeah, I'm gonna get night, and some of these islands we're probably gonna have to stay longer on because of said issues. Like having no money and all that fun shit. There you can have those four. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think, uh, I probably could do story times, uh, story time in high school, which was not that far back, it's like 10 years ago or so, uh, I had this English teacher I thought hated my guts. And you go, well, oh, why would anyone hate you? You're so nice. I was failing English. Uh, not because I didn't want to do the work. Between you and me, I didn't... It was my favorite English teacher. Well, one of my favorites. Uh, it's not that I didn't want to do the work. It's just that I... I grew up doing well in math, and then <laughs> the minute high school hit, my math grades started to plummet, and they started to get harder and harder for me to actually finish my math homework. And because math was taking priority, because I was trying to understand everything, trying to figure out what the fuck I was doing. Oh shit. Nope, 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 nope. I hear those sounds. I'm not stupid. I'm not staying still. I'm going back. <laughs> I 
But, um... I thought there was a kind of what the fuck is going on here type thing was the math class. So all my grades and everything else plummeted and I had to get detention that I didn't do. Not because I didn't want to, but because I knew if I did them, I wouldn't be able to uh, do my math properly. And that would have been a bitch and a half for me because it was like, I don't understand. I don't get it. And even was the teacher explaining, because the teacher did do her best to explain shit. My brain was still like, oh, no, 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 this is wrong, this is dumb, this is dumb, this is dumb. Like, I literally sat there going, this is stupid. About math. A math lover. Same ass is stupid. That should be its own problem in itself, really, to be honest. Because I was like the little girl who would sit there and go, I love math. Math is so much fun. And then wind up be also be going, fuck math. In the same breath. We should say a lot for how much I hated it after a while. Once it was my favorite subject, then it turned into, oh no, fucking damn it, Dave, type of shit. Uh, but I still managed to graduate, and anyone else had to do that. My writing was on sub. My writing was on par with a lot of things. I kept getting fives for my writing. Because she uh, had us practicing regences, and she was grading our practices, thank god. And I kept getting uh, fives in my writing, and everyone goes, what's a five? Well, it's one step down below the six, which is the highest grade you can get for your writing work, and I kept getting fives. Not because I was stupid, not because I was dumb, but because I was writing well. Few spelling mistakes, but they didn't really care about that for regences and finals. But, uh, I don't eloquent properly, even in writing, my eloquency is limited to God, fucking damn it, Dave, type shit. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you know what, you're one of my best students. Not because of your grades, but because you know how to goddamn it right. And I'm like, I'm a writer, what do you want from me? And she, like, knew my writing, uh... She was one of the few people who read my poetry outside of family at the time because <laughs> I have some qualms about who let I let like, read my poetry, and uh, she was one of the people I let. Really, really, uh, sorry, my dogs are going bonkers today. Uh, not because they're bad dogs, but because, uh, random noises are happening outside and I think it's for us. Actually, let me check that. Not for us, tiny pup. Not for mommy. Not for you. And I'm catching that on recording because I'm actually talking to you guys like your children. Alright. And yeah. I'm not supposed to say it, but I got a 92 on my regents just to graduate from English. And while everyone's going, oh, that's so good, you graduated college. <laughs> I graduated because I knew how to fucking write people. That is the only reason I graduated. And I don't, I don't know why that was an honor. I, I, I feel a bit ashamed of it because 
<laughs> Here's this English kid who, uh, not gonna lie, is better in Spanish than anything else because Spanish is an easy class. I can admit this one though. This is like Lewis Pride. Even when I was struggling with English, with my math, I was so much passing Spanish because that's what I found amusing. Is a I could literally not understand a lick of shit and anything else. But the minute I started doing my Spanish classes, it was like, yeah, yeah, I understand that. Okay, yep, yep, we're good. I was passing my tests, doing my homework. I mean, it wasn't that hard. I literally did that in, like, the first fucking study hall of the day. Because my Spanish class was at the end of the day. So I was like, oh, yeah, I have study halls. Let's do this. And I was sitting there do Spanish work and just go, yay. My Spanish teacher loved me, too. Uh, switching from English to where I swear my teacher hated me, minus my poetry, which made her go, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, and make everyone say she was having an orgasm during class. I'm still amused. Oh, hell no, we're not running fast. To, uh, do a Spanish teacher who literally gave me a hug because I had to leave her class. Everyone goes, why do you have to leave her class? Because I was flunking two other classes and they blamed it on my hefty schedule. So I removed the easiest goddamn class for me. Bruno goes, oh, that's not fair if you weren't. The teacher wanted to aid me. That's all I'm saying. The guidance counselor was trying to do her best to help me graduate so I didn't have to go to summer school or repeat a grade. Do not blame the counselor for my failures. Blame me for my failures. Type deal. If I, you get what I'm pitching here. Look at that. Oh, hey. Let me be nice. There. And it's not the, oh shit, you're dumb as fuck. This is for you. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, it was the Iron Hawking deal like this because we knew the stunt. So I was returning my Spanish book because we were in Spanish 4. Uh, I gr did my regences rather well, and my Spanish teacher and I literally sat, or the last two doing that work, and uh, I legit sat there going, hello, 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 and doing this whole fucking conversation in Spanish because. I genuinely like my Spanish teacher, and I, we could have a conversation. <laughs> we could have a conversation, and my dogs right away go, No, you can't. But my dogs are wonderful. They're assholes right now, but they are wonderful dogs. But this Spanish teacher comes, you, is it true you're leaving my class? I nod my head sadly because I don't want to leave her class. She was a goddamn sweetheart. I would have gotten every, got, given everything just to go, no, no, I'm staying, I'm staying, I'm staying. Let me stay with you. I'm being this little brat because I would rather take Spanish than anything else in the world. My, well, my Spanish teacher was nice. Too, she knew me for like all throughout high school and not even because I was a student all through high school I wish I was but and you only have three to hit god damn you guys suck and not even because I was like this awesome student of hers it's because I literally every year before and after class <laughs> well before my next class when i had spanish for in the morning and after before i left home i would always say hello and goodbye to her and everyone goes oh that's such a kiss ass no that's how you get good fucking grades people <laughs> actually get to know your spanish teacher know your teachers that's what you need to do Ugh. 
Well, for assholes, then I don't blame you for never wanting to know them, because there are a few teachers that I will say I personally hated, like... The first English teacher I had in high school, I did not like. Not because she was ugly. I always she was. She literally had walked hunched over with her half swaying like, I know I got a big ass and I know you like it, type woman, <laughs> type walk, the annoying that, that annoying hell fucking walk. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not saying the teacher knew she had a big ass. I highly doubt that. I'm saying that ass was goddamn fucking dumb. I think that's how she walked. Not that it was. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, listen, you do listening, you bunch of people. But no. Uh, uh, but uh, she was a bitch. She uh, was mean to my sister, saying my sister didn't write the poem she wrote. Said the same thing about me, and I know I wrote good fucking poetry, because I wrote things that made my other English teacher go, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But she was just mean. I, uh, I took a test. This is freshman high school, if anyone remembers those years. I'm sorry for bringing back bad memories. Um, freshman English. I was sitting with a few people. I, I had, <laughs> I had lunch, I didn't do the read, take a test. Would you call it run attention? No, but I did because it felt like it. It just felt like it. And yes, I know what lunch detention is. I've had it. May not have been referral based, even though I went throughout high school I had referrals, but <laughs> I had lunch detention and I know what it is and I ate it. But brain work. But uh I have lunch detention with this the mean ass, as I'm gonna call her right now, the meanie. The meanie head. God, I sound like a little child with that one. She's a mini head, but she was a fucking bitch. And it was like, oh, you have to redo all this, even though it was graded. Like, have you ever done that where you have work graded, and someone's telling you, oh no, 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 I don't care if I graded it, you still are to. I literally wanted to stare her in the eye and call her a goddamn Karen. That was before Karen's were even thought of. It was way before Karen's became a thing that I wanted to call a teacher Karen. I wanted to stare in her eyes and go fuck off Karen. And uh, this teacher's aide, sweet woman, sweet woman. I actually liked this lady because she was funny. And she let me sit with her in the study halls and do my work. Because my classmates were fucking assholes. So my t so I was just so hey and here would come the big rolling chairs, the comfortable ass chairs that you would only sit in at computer time. And he goes, Here you go. I'm going like thank you. Do you work here? I'm going like, Yep. Yeah. She goes, Everything alright? I'm going like, Yeah. But uh, during this retake of a test, she comes in the classroom and goes, What the hell are you doing here? She didn't say hell, but uh, I'm gonna go for my flavorings, because it's me. I curse like a sailor. You know this. I can't help it. I try not to curse, and I still wind up cursing. She asked me what I'm doing there, and I'm like, oh, I'm retaking this. She goes, it's great. I'm going like, I know. She couldn't read my handwriting, then bitched at me that I needed to rewrite it. I did not say bitched, but goddamn it, she bitched. And this teacher is literally just shaking her head. Hating this other teacher, and I'm like, someone fucking gets it. Where do I find those? Never. And she's literally sitting there with me, helping me retake this test. <laughs> well, she wasn't helping, she was just watching over me, and I'm like, yeah, that should be neat enough for her. I had sloppy handwriting. I was in OT for a reason, people. And this teacher didn't want me writing in cursive, so I had to write a print, which was way effing sloppier. I said effing. Effing. I did not want to curse that time. Me trying to make sure at least two of them make it. So 
Kai literally sat there going like, I hate this class, I hate this class. And she goes, that's pretty good, you can leave. I leave. She still kept the grade she gave me. And that's what pisses me off. I did all, all that work and was still made to keep the same shitty grade. I cannot take the money right now. If you're running, I'm literally just doing this to get rid of cash. Because I'm getting too much money. There we go. And right away, right back with the cash. And, um, well, like, really, 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 you keep, I do, redo all that for nothing. And the other teacher just stare. She literally just stared and I'm like, I may wind up telling a teacher today. And the other teacher is just sitting there in the rest of the class shaking her head because she was livid. You know what's bad when you make another teacher pissed off at your actions? I'm just like, I'm not gonna kill someone today! I'm not gonna do it! I'm at least in there trying to be a good kid while secretly wanting to kill people. <laughs> the teacher, the teacher made me so upset because it's like, really, 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 really. I, I knew this. I get it. Oh no no no. Cause it's like, it's not even oh you didn't do what I wanted. It's I did what you wanted then some. Cause I rewrote every single one of my answers. Stayed until I was told I could leave. I'm still being told, oh no, oh no, 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 you have to read all of it. Ugh. Like, my teacher was a Karen before Karen was even thought of. But we came up with that name for annoying ass people. The bad thing was, she was the only one like that. Other ones couldn't read my handwriting, they didn't go, oh, okay, we're gonna try it this way now. They were nice about it. She was, oh no. Nope, oh, nope, I'm gonna be the raging ass. And I'm gonna say I am right. So you are wrong. <laughs> if anyone remembers that line, I will love you to leave it in the comments. Pause here, leave it in the comments. Who does this? I am right? You are wrong. I am big, you are little. <laughs> Who does that? I probably got the words out of the word of best self. Who does it? I'm giving you time to answer. I will say who did it by the t end of this video. Don't worry. And it said twice in the movie. That's all I'm saying. That I am right, you are wrong, I am big, you are little. It said twice in the movie. By two different people. So if you can just guess the movie, because I can't even remember the character's name, so just say the movie it happens in. I would appreciate it. I don't know how old my fan base is. I know some of you are my age. Some of you are younger, some of you are older. And that's because actually most of you are on my Discord server. Or most of you are my exes. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I only have one ex on that, that watches this channel. The one ex, and I'm kind of proud. That is only her. Because everyone else would like... Hell, I don't even think... Oh, I blocked my ex-best friend. My ex friend, she's not my best. She's just. She was someone I held dear until she started screwing me over. Like, you don't screw me over. I'm sorry, but there is a limit to how much I will deal with. There you go. That's all yours. Or not. Taking that back. Cause fuck you, motherfucker. But. Uh, actually gave a shit about people 
And that's the most thing I can't stand when you care enough to actually do shit. My guy has this friend. Wait. Oh, Ooh, we're still in the high school conversation. I actually have some fun to do this. High school fights. <laughs> Not even physical ones. Verbal. <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk about this and then it's the end of story time because this game has story time. This is one of the few games you get story time in. Um, verbal. Alright, so we all know my mother died when I was in middle school. Last year of middle. Come on, come on, come on, catch. Run, you dumb shit. Last year of middle school. Um. So, in high school, again, Spanish. Let's start with Spanish because that goes for the thank you boy. Trump got started. <laughs> there was Damn the Dead, or Los Dias de los Muertos, that we celebrated in the Spanish class. So, we were told, bring something, someone to talk about. It could be in either Spanish or English, or both, if you prefer I brought in the bins of my mom. And, uh... Talked about her. For the day. In that class. And then I went next door to the Spanish teacher that became my buddy. And she asked me who I talked to. I said my mom. She goes, oh, I didn't know your mom was dead. I was like, yeah, she died last year. That got me a big hug from a germaphobe. <laughs> germaphobe, give us hugs. That was always nice. So, yeah. And then I would go to my English class right after that because it was just a straight shot down the hall so I knew no matter how much time I spent with the Spanish teacher, I was not going to be late. So I would walk back towards the hall to uh, English, sit there, and uh, get into a verbal discussion with somebody. And they're talking about my mother, and I'm like, hey, my mother's dead. They're going, oh, no, it's not. And the kid from my Spanish class walks in, because you don't have everyone in the same class. You go to different classes. But this kid stayed in both of my classes with me, and he goes, yes, she is. She did her for Dia de los Muertos. She, we're only allowed to talk about the dead people on that day. I'm pretty sure she's dead. I'm like, thank you. And then we end up in a more discussion where I say, shut the fuck up. No one fucking cares. And I'm literally going, you're literally dumber than shit. And that is why you had to take French. Making it sound like French was either, of course, in Spanish. But <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. But I really wanted to tear the kid up. And then at the end of the day, they were talking about <laughs> relationships. I wasn't even out as a bi yet. Which was my partial way out. And everyone goes, and I go, the only girl you could ever get is your mother. And that got me in a whole bunch of O's from half the classroom. Because I was like, do I want to be this petty today? Do I want to be this much of an ass? And it's another blood moon. And my brain's just going like, tear these people up, they deserve it. They treat you like garbage. And I'm like... And he goes, at least I have a mom. And everyone goes, dude, no. And I'm going like, you know what, you're right. I don't have a mom anymore. But when I did, at least I knew her love was genuine. I knew she actually cared about the people around her. And I may not have a mother, but at least I have friends that I don't have to bully into being my friend. They actually care enough to want to stick around me. And I said that so fucking calmly, he shut up and I have half the class cheering for me. Not even being shit, just literally going like, that's right, that's right, she told you off. And it was entertaining because I'm just sitting there going like, that was stung for a second because you don't know me. I don't have a mom. Do you know if I have a dad? No, you're only using the mom thing because that's the only thing you know about. 
I love my grandma. My grandma took me in after my mom died. She literally took us in with open arms. She helped me with my Spanish class. She helped me with my math homework. Even when she didn't understand it, I was getting help. So it wasn't even a dick thing. It was literally me just going like, you're right, I don't have a mom. I have a grandma who accepted me. I had this. Oh wow, they actually all are coming in. Uh, that's great. So I literally said, yeah, you're right, I don't. And then listed everything else I had that was better than him. I literally went in there. I went in there with a fucking 2 by 4 Because I was done with his ass. And then, more Millie talk, because uh, one kid literally talked about suicide. I'm like, how do you know about that? Because, you know, I was uh, slightly suicidal growing up. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, know if there was any other kids who needed help because it's not the way to go. <sighs> Your brain may say it is, but it's not. It's not. So I wanted to know who I needed to talk to or who I could go tell the guidance counselor to about suicide. And this kid goes back. Your mother. I'm like, because that hurt. That hurt. My, my mom died of uh, secondhand smoke and other shit. And when they brought her back, her lungs collapsed. So that hurt because you did not know how my mom died. And you shouldn't state shit like that, especially as someone who uh, blames themselves for things a lot. I literally blame myself for my mother dying. I blame myself for so much shit that I should not be told something like that. Because you're not only saying your mom died because of this. You're saying your mom died. My mom died from suicide, and then adding on worse shit. I'm sorry, I need to get rid of some coin. So not only is it... <laughs> I learned this from your mom. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I learned this from your mom. Because of you. So this kid really wanted to fucking hurt me. Not even joking. He wanted to hurt me. He wanted to cut me deep. So, I ripped in things I did not know I should rip in. And I started killing the fucker deep. So I was done. I was literally just done. I did not want to hear his mouth anymore. I did not want to deal with him anymore. I was just done. And, uh, yeah, I started going back. People go, oh, you shouldn't do that with a bully. <laughs> if someone is saying that I am lying about my medical issues because I have a kidney in my, near my belly button and a hit could kill me if I'm hit hard enough, I literally then get kicked with a ball into the sense exactly where the kid is and get a good bruise because I got hit that hard yeah I'm sorry I'm sorry I don't give a fuck I am opening up my goddamn mouth you can hate me all you want my mouth is being open and I'm being vocal And you ain't gonna like it, I don't give two shits. But, uh, yeah, that has been story time with Rose Thorne, and it's like 34 minutes into this game. Alright, we're gonna call it here. Peace and love. I'll see you guys in the next video. I honestly need to blow my nose because it's running like a sift right now, and I keep wiping it out the back of my hand. Allergy season, by the way. Allergy season plus a heat wave equals Debbie No Like, or Rose No Like, or Mary No Like, because they're all my name. And if anyone's wondering what do they mean, I respond to all three of them. Rosa never dictates. Mary Lou is my actual name and it's also shortened to Mary or Lulu, depending on the person. Dovey is also a nickname that derives from Dove because someone wanted to go. Hey!
<laughs> Last year, the girl who's named after chocolate soap and burns is a cuter. Uh, yeah, peace, love. See you guys in the next video, which will hopefully be soon. I mean, again, I'm sorry I've been waking up way too late to record anything.